What if you're given some equations, right, of consumption, investment, government purchases, net exports, and then you're given the level of GDP and need to figure out aggregate expenditures and the unplanned change in inventories? Well, we know that aggregate expenditures equals consumption plus investment plus government purchases plus net exports. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Aggregate expenditure is going to equal 800 plus 0.75y plus 1,000 plus 800 minus 200. Let's go ahead and combine all the stuff that we know. So aggregate expenditure is going to equal that 800 plus 1,000 plus 800 minus 200, right? And so that's going to be 20. 400 plus 0.75 y. So I know that this is going to be my aggregate expenditure function. So what happens if GDP is equal to 9,000? Well, I just plug this in. Aggregate expenditure is going to equal 2,400 plus 0.75 times 9,000. I'll plug that into my calculator. I'll get 2,400 plus 6,750. So that means aggregate expenditure at this point, when I plug that into my calculator, is going to be 9,150. So I can go up here and I can erase this question mark, and I can add our answer of 9,150. So notice that spending was 150 more than GDP. So again, that means that I can erase this question mark. And I know that since there was more spending than production, we must have consumed out of those inventories. So we see negative 150 in inventories. Now let's take a look at when GDP is equal to that 11,000. So I'm just going to erase a little bit here. Right, so let's erase this part. And what if we have GDP equaling to 11,000? Well, we do the same thing. We're just going to plug that in, right? So if GDP equals 11,000, we know that aggregate expenditure is going to equal to 2,400 plus 0 0.75 times 11,000. So we plug that into our calculators. We get 2,400 plus... 8250. And let's go ahead and add those together on our calculator, and we're going to get aggregate expenditure to equal to 10,650. So 10,650. Meaning we can go ahead, again, we can erase this question mark and add in our answer that aggregate expenditure is equal to 10,650 when GDP is equal to 11,000. And then the last thing we can erase, right? Let's go ahead and erase the question mark with the unplanned changes in inventories. And so what you can notice is that we've uh, the overall GDP is 11,000, but we only spent 10,650 out of it. So that's 350 that we're going to see added to my unplanned changes in inventories. Remember, the unplanned changes in inventories is always going to be the GDP and then we're going to take out all of the aggregate expenditure, right? Because this is the overall production. This is the overall spending. So the changes to inventories are going to be the difference in that.